Hi there, so today I'm going to show you how to create your own product in Shopper Press. Shopper Press is a WordPress theme and um, it lets you integrate your own shopping cart into WordPress. So it looks great and um, it's more appealing to customers. So to get your first product in here you'd want to log in. If you're not logged in, you can click the login link in your WordPress or Shopper Press install. It'll be in this area here um, and log in. When you do, you'll be presented with a ribbon at the top if you're an administrator. And to get started, we're just going to click New Post. Posts are the same as products. So we'll click New Post. and I have already pre-written some text for this so we'll just pull that up and paste it in here's my description okay so we've got our title and our description we'll scroll down a little bit um, if you're a third-party vendor or perhaps a drip a drop shipper you might want to enter your SKU number if the products manufacturer has a known SKU number for the product it will help you in Google shopping results if you enter that here but it's not mandatory um, you have to have a price if there's no price entered then the product won't show up in shopper press so it could actually be zero you could put 0, 0.00 in here and that would allow you to move forward and continue posting it you don't have to use the quantity field unless you've told shopper press to manage your inventory levels for you and if you wanted this product to show up on the front page of your website you would want to make it a featured product otherwise you just leave this alone um, the old price feature it will allow you to show a markdown so if you're selling something for twenty five dollars and it used to be thirty dollars or you want to show a five dollar savings you could enter thirty dollars in here and shopper press will make show that in red and with a line through it and then show you the new lower price that you enter in the price field um, in black so you can show customers the savings that they're getting through your website um, weight also is not necessary to enter uh, it's handy though if your shipping is set up based on weight you'll need to have a weight uh, amount entered for each product so that shopper press can calculate the shipping um, down towards the bottom here we have an excerpt area this excerpt is going to give your visitors uh, a short description of the product before they click on it for more details so we'll just select our first sentence out of our product description and we will enter that into our excerpt okay then we move up and over to the right column uh, this is a new page that hasn't been published yet so we have a publish button instead of update but the next step would be to find what category this product fits into. Now I have a whole bunch of pre-populated, pre-made categories I've set up. So I'm going to scroll down to New Parts. And um, this actually falls under Friction Parts, but it's pretty general. So I'm just going to leave it in the top level Friction Parts. If I had something more specific like brake pads or seals or brake shoes um, wet, wet brake system parts then I would put it in one of these categories rather than here but uh, for the sake of demonstration I'm gonna stick with friction products at the top level 
if you had um, some tags tags are other related keywords to whatever this post is about so our product is brake parts for heavy equipment and they make lots of different brands of heavy equipment so we might put caterpillar and then put a comma and Komatsu um, maybe even Ford and <clears throat> I'm also just gonna put brakes here and I'm gonna click add now I put a comma between each keyword um, I click add and these are now tags that if somebody is searching for anything related to Komatsu this would be one of the items that would show up on the website if I were to decide I didn't want one of these uh, tags to be in here I had accidentally added it I could just click the little X here and it would be removed so we've got our tags and it looks like everything is set up so I'm gonna click publish And that takes just a second to enter it all into the database and once it's done we can view post I generally like to right click that link and open it in a new tab in case I need to make adjustments I don't have to keep going back and forth I can just go between tabs so here is our new break entry but we have no picture I forgot to enter in a picture so I'm going to go back to my product and down here at the bottom we have image setup as one of our tabs so I'm going to click image setup and I'm going to upload an image now I only have one picture for this entry so I would use this button but if I had multiple pictures for a product I would choose this button and it would put them in in the order that I selected them and um, put a comma in between each file so that it tells shopper press that these are separate images and that there's more than one so you actually have a photo gallery uh, for your product but in this case I only have one picture so I'm going to click upload image and this picture is actually located on my computer I haven't uploaded it already so I am going to just grab that real quick and I'm gonna edit the title of the picture and then copy it and paste it into the alt field and the description we don't need to worry about alignment and we're going to leave it set to the pre-selected sizes for shopper press so that it fits nicely and we're going to click insert into post okay so now we can see under our main image we have a file path to the picture we just uploaded to the server and we have our excerpt in sometimes I like to give them the dot 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 to show a teaser that there's more information to be read and then we're going to click update notice that it's update instead of publish now because it's already live on the website we are just making a change so I can come back here and if I refresh my page I should see a picture now and we do and so this product is done now if I were to add in a quantity like if this was a complete brake assembly and it was an actual part number that I was selling and I had say 10 of them and let's say that this part costs five hundred dollars each I could come back to my product scroll down I'm gonna change the price to five hundred dollars each 
and I've got 10 of these in stock. Um, and I'm going to click update. And we got to wait for it to finish updating. So as soon as I see that it's done, okay, it's finished. Now when we come back out here, notice here there will be a change, and there will be a change in this column when I refresh the page. Now we can see that this brake part costs $500. We have 10 of them in stock. Our customers can choose what number of these they would like to purchase and then add them to their cart. None of this information was here when there were no quantities entered into the website. Um, just There was just a call us at this number uh, for more information which is sometimes nice because then you can be more uh, give more individualized attention to each customer's needs and what they're looking for and possibly even be able to drum up some business in an area you hadn't considered previously so it's always nice to talk to your customers in person but if you have a a bunch of a particular product that you're trying to sell you need to make sure you get your quantity entered and an actual price of what you're going to charge. Now shipping would be set up in a separate section in another video um, but this will get you going with getting your first products published on your website. Now to see how this looks to our customers I put this into new parts so let's just click on new parts and when we come in here we see all of the subcategories under new parts are at the top and here is the part that we just entered in. Um, they're they're five hundred dollars each, and there's ten of them in Nashville. So these other products are products that we either rebuild or um, resell, repair. So there's no price here. It would depend upon the uh, actual part number of the parts that were being rebuilt or repaired as to what their cost would be so we leave that blank and we just handle each customer one-on-one. -on -one. Now this text right here that we see here's our dot 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 our little teaser this is what what shows up in the excerpt so if you don't put an excerpt in you just get the green title um, and the listed under portion and the price. Let me see. We'll just remove it real quick and see how it looks without the excerpt. So I'll just cut that out of there and then we'll update again. Anytime you make a change you have to click the update button. Now if that's updated I will refresh the page and we see that our excerpt is gone now. So, it didn't affect the price or the quantity, but I think we should put the excerpt back. And since we have already established that there, this is a service and not an actual product, I'm just going to take all that out and update. I'll watch here when as soon as it's done we'll refresh and we should see this all change again see now it's at the bottom of the list because we took the uh, quantity out um, so the 500 and the 10 are gone and our excerpt is back if I click on the item, I can get more details about it. And over here where the customer is looking for the price, they see that pricing varies by application. Please call this phone number uh, for more information. And this was something that I edited in the English.php file to come up with my own text here. So that's how you add a new product and I hope the post was helpful. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments below. Thanks.